the rc passage here reveals the way the method by which propagandists catch audiences attention to advertise their product or in other words or to advertise their uh, opinions the paragraph uh, the paragraph goes about saying that the uh, they they create they they work upon building up a receptive frame of mind of the audience and this process of building up a receptive state uh, this process of uh, influencing the audiences is called the sub propaganda campaign so for this what they do is the most common method is they quite commonly try to make uh, quite commonly in trying to make his own message stand out against the background the operator will bring in another and more striking stimulus which even if it has little or nothing to do with the actual message is effective in catching the eye or ear in such a way as to cause it to be noted so such a person or such a uh, such a such an idea is propagated that catches the eye of the audience and thereby uh, in gets the audience's attention so in the, in this way the audience uh, is 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 put in a receptive frame of mind now propagandists uh, resort to this method why because nobody can because the author says that nobody can create emotions which are not already there so since the emotions of uh, powerful emotions of love anger fear hope guilt they are already there that is the reason that propaganda propagandists take to exploiting them to attract audiences attention now and, uh, there are other two important factors that the that the author says influence suggestibility and what are they uh, first is that people always follow the crowd and the second is they arouse very strong emotions then he goes about saying that uh, suggestion is a powerful weapon only if uh, the operator of uh, the operator is advocating what of only if the whatever the advocator is advocating is in line with the audience's already existent beliefs or when the suggestion he is making is not against the convictions of his audience is is does not present any threat to the conviction of his audiences now let's look at the questions that follow the first question says according to the passage which of the following is most likely to be the objective of running a shampoo advertisement with a picture of famous hollywood actress reference to this is given in the first paragraph which states that that uh, these are not common catching attention catching uh, things but by their implications but they have implications of par health enthusiasm beauty and masculinity they excite the observer and serve to put him in a more receptive state of mind therefore the answer to this question is option c which is it will catch the attention of the reader and by implying beauty excite the reader and put him or her in a receptive state of mind the next question states that according to the passage what makes the propagandists use sentiments such as love fear guilt etc to woo the audience the answer to this is given in this question this paragraph which states that the pro propagandist resorts to these uh, or or make ample use of love anger fear hope guilt etc because these emotions because nobody can create emotions that are not already there and these are the basic emotions that uh, humans have therefore the answer to this question is option b which is most of the basic motives are emotion sorry the answer to this question is not option b but option uh, therefore the answer to this question is option b now look at the next question it says according to the author which of the following is most likely to be the motive behind the celebration of valentines day by greetings and card companies the reason to the, the uh, reference to this is again given in uh, the second paragraph it says that people celebrate mothers day so that so that they can increase their sales of the product they have and also uh, make people those the those people and make those people feel guilty that do not celebrate uh, because that that way they will be uh, frust their uh, in innate emotions will get frustrated so therefore the answer to these questions is both options b and c which says they want people to buy cards and increase their sales on this day they want to make those who forget the day feel guilty which is a strong emotion so that they do not forget this the next time now the reference to this is given in this paragraph which says that um, the propagandist might also trade on the audience's feelings of inadequacy or guilt to make him want to do the right thing 
Florists, for example, in order to increase their sales, devised the idea of Mother's Day so that in the long run, not only will mother love manifest itself in the sending of a bunch of flowers, but those who forget to do so will begin to feel thoroughly ashamed of themselves. This is well known. This is a well known fact that human emotions become more intense when frustrated. So this is the way human emotions are frustrated, and um, the and the propagandists by this means achieve their goal.